Hey everyone, today we're going to look at some Disney pins and we're going to open them from a package that I ordered on eBay. Now here's a few that we've received in the past few months and I hear there's a lot of controversy about them being authentic pins or not, but I ordered a package of 50. They guarantee that they are tradable and I paid a $21 and 97 cents for these pins. So I thought I'd go ahead and open them and you guys can take a look and give me some feedback and tell me if you think they're authentic, if you think they are not, if you think we should be trading them, or if you think we're not. Okay, so this is the package here that I got in the mail. Okay, so the first pin in the group of 50 is a little lock pin, and this is a limited release. It was uh, put out in 2013. I'll take that one and put that to the side. And the next pin here, it's a little track pin, and I am not sure. Um, these, are, these were put out in 2013, and this is a hidden Mickey. It's Pin number five in a series of six. And, you know, I'm not sure if I've had any of those before. It, it seems to me like um, I saw these out, especially this one, maybe last year more. So I'm going to put that to the side there. Now, the next pin that we have is a Howling Wolf. It is a Hidden Mickey also, and it is number six of six. And it was made in the year of 2013. Now this next little pin is a snowflake Mickey and it comes from the Disneyland Resort Hotel in the year of 2007. I really like it. I, I just want to keep it. I'm going to use it for my winter uh, visit when I come back to Disney this December. Now this next pin is a puzzle piece. And it comes from the Disney Shanghai Resort. It was manufactured in 2016. And there may be other pieces. And if other people purchase these on eBay or in clusters, maybe they have them in bulk. That's the first one that I've seen. Now this next little guy, he is a Disney Vacation Club pin. And he's just a little Mickey Mouse chilling out there. Um, the back of this one is blue in color. And so that's um, a little different there. Now, you know, the next pin I have here is a little teacup pin. And this one um, is also a hidden Mickey. It is number six of six in it's Jasmine, of course. And this was uh, put out in 2009. I think I have had trading pins that are just teacups with um, designs on them, but not the princess's faces. So I'm going to maybe keep her until I learn a little bit more about that. This next pin here is Tinkerbell. This is a Hollywood Studios pin, and it is so cute. I really think I have to keep this one. This was put out in the year of 2011. So I went back and I checked one of our other pin boards and I found this one, which was also in the year of 2011. This is a Jack Skellington. So this one, of course, didn't come in this group, but I wanted to show it to you. And I think maybe we can work on building that series. It doesn't say how many were in. Well, I guess it doesn't say. It doesn't say if there were a number of them in a set so if anybody knows, please comment below and let me know. I'd like to really be able to find some more of those. The next one is a little Mickey um, mini. A Mickey mini. It's a mini, not a Mickey. And this mini, she is from, I think she's from Shanghai. Because there is a real, um, you know, if you look in the back, it's that real dark color. And it says that she was made in the year of 2016. And most of these pins, and I'm going to set her aside and I'm going to bring her back out in a minute because I want to show her with another pin that we got in the same envelope here. So I'm going to move on to Jimmy Cricket, who is so cute. You know, I don't think I have a Jimmy Cricket. And it looks like there's a little glove behind him there. And I'm going to keep him. 
He's definitely super cute. He was manufactured in the year of 2010, and he's a hidden Mickey in a series of three, or he's number three in a series of eight. Now, this glove pin was made for Hong Kong Disneyland in 2011. I haven't seen many of these. Maybe you guys have. Um, it's a little hidden Mickey. Now, the next one, this is a Marvel pin, and this is made for Shanghai Disney Resort and uh, there's no year on the back of it but interestingly enough I just got one of these in a pack I ordered about six months ago that I traded during the summertime and I think it's probably more common than I I would like to think but because I've seen them in the park now when I was in the park this August and September both I saw a lot of those on the pin boards now this one I've not seen before, and you may have. Um, and I'm not really sure what character this is. So if anybody knows, please um, send in a little comment. But that's about all I know about that one. There's really no other detail there. Now this one is a little bone series, a little doggy bone series. And to me, it looks like maybe the puppy dog from Up. I'm not sure of the name of that dog, but this is number two of five, and it was manufactured in the year of 2016. Now we got this little one, which is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And this was made also the same year. And we got this one in a in an envelope, you know, like about six months ago as well. So that's probably part of the same set. The next pin I have is this little Christmas pin here. And this was manufactured in 2009. And there's really nothing else that it says. It doesn't say it's part of a set or... Um, anything so I don't really know any more detail about it but it's cute and definitely I think I should wear this when I go in December so I'm going to hang on to that one and put that with that snowflake pin that I was just talking about now this guy here this little Mickey Mouse with the doggy bone and collar um, I've had that one in fact right here because I got it in, a, in an envelope that we got before so my guess is that's probably a pretty popular one and I'm going to trade one of them. That was a number two of five. And it was manufactured in the year 2016. Now this Goofy pin is... Oh, sorry. Um, no, yeah, that's Goofy. Um, this is a Lanyard series pin. And this was manufactured in 2004. Okay, the next pin is a little teapot. It's an Alice in Wonderland themed teapot. And this was a 2017 pin, a hidden Mickey in a set. This was number 105. Now this little one here, it's um, really cute. It is just from Hong Kong Kong and it's from 2017. And I, I don't know anything else about that, but Hong Kong is where that one came from, Hong Kong Disneyland. Now this is Chip and Dale, and the red nose means it is Dale. It's kind of cute, kind of tiny. This next one is a silver pin. This is a Mulan, and it says 28-34. There you go, that's a better view. A little hidden Mickey on that one as well. This is from 2000 and, I couldn't read. So it's 2000 and Mystery. Um, but it's four of ten in a hidden Mickey set. Now the next one here, I really like. I think it's just really cute. This is from 2007, and it's a snowflake. This is actually a really good quality pin. It's just uh, got the hard enamel. It's uh, very nice. And it is a hidden Mickey number four of six. But that's all I know. I don't know anything else. It, I'm not familiar with that. But 2007, it's been a while, 12 years old. This next one here is Pumbaa. You can see it's a little hidden Mickey, a little paw print. And this um, pin is a set, again, it's number four of five. And it has a bent back on it, so I couldn't, um, I can't really tell the year on that one either. Some of these are hard to read, and I'm not sure if that means they're just bad quality or not. Next pin up is a Tsum Tsum from 2015. Put that one up there. There was a lot of Tsum Tsums out there for quite a while. Now this little egg pin is a little stormtrooper from 2016 
And this is a Lucas Limited pin series. And we actually got another one. And this is not from this one, but this is from another pin uh, set I ordered online, and it was a little Chewbacca. So we have two in it that are that we have at our house now, but um, there. Uh, that's all I know. I don't know. I haven't seen any of the other pieces of that set. Then the next little pin we have here is this really fancy schmancy Minnie Mouse. And she's just really cute. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep her. I have a lot of little minis, and she's just all dolled up there. This Mickey one is, is really adorable, too. He's got just a lot of character in his personality here. This is uh, a hidden Mickey as well. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. That is not a hidden Mickey. That is just my bad eyesight. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to hang on to that one. This has that backing on it too that is the different color. And it just says it's a limited release. And that's all I know about that one. Now here's something that I wanted to show you. This is a carousel pin. And this carousel pin is from the grand opening of the Shanghai Disney Resort in 2016. And it states on the back side that it is a limited edition, that it is one of 300. Now the reason I have a big red flag on this pin is that the last time I ordered pins, I got the same pin. What's the chance of getting two out of only 300 that were ever made? And in addition to that, this last month when I was down at the park, I saw one on a pin board. So seeing three out of yeah, so I think it's it's worth questioning the validity of this particular pin. So I'm going to put that to the side. But I did talk to a cast member about it who advised me to keep it. He said that they were really rare and that that one should be valuable. But again, I think it may have been, um, you know, manufactured maybe. Uh, anyway. We'll pass over that for now. The next one is just a, an interesting pin. I don't really know much about this one either. I've seen him here and there, little Mickey. Now this Snow White pin is really cute. It's like a little badge pin. And she is a hidden Mickey, five of five. And she was made in 2008. Now the interesting thing is in another bag we got, we got this one over here. And it almost looks like they could be from the same set, except the top one was made in 2007, and it's a number three of six in a, in a Hidden Mickey series. So maybe they made two different series, you know, in years following each other. That's possible. So this one next one here, this little princess pin, is a Hidden Mickey. And I, I don't know about this pin but I got another one just like it right before in another bag that I had ordered as well as I've seen them on pin boards this last month so perhaps this is another one of those that was kind of just mass manufactured or I, I really don't know but they're all tradable they all say they're Disney official trading pins and this one is five of six in a hidden Mickey series so maybe, maybe it's a keeper. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to keep two, so I'm going to trade one. Now this little guy, <laughs> he has an interesting expression. And he is, uh, well, he's definitely maybe worth keeping. He's a little different, but he, again, has that um, other color on the back side. And I'm going to probably... I might keep him, I might trade him. You know, sometimes, you know, he's just an old Mickey. He's a series five of five, but I can't really even see the year on the back of this one. So I might keep him. I'll have to decide on that one yet. But the Peter Pan hat is fun. I really like the hat series. Um, there's uh, various hats. And we do have some pretty neat Peter Pan pins in our collection. So this is from 2017, this one. So yeah, we'll see if if I keep that one or not. And then there's this little cutie here. And this was, um, I can't, I can't read this one. I can't read it on the back side at all. So it's a hidden Mickey, but 
Now, the very last pin is really my favorite pin. And usually in a bag of pins, I just have so many favorites, I can't even, I can't even tell you. This pin group was, you know, it was okay. I have a few I really like, but most of them I, I can trade. But this is a little ticket pin, and it's a Magic Kingdom, um, <laughs> as I keep dropping it. Um, and it says that you can admit one to your choice of either the Haunted Mansion, the Pirates of the Caribbean, the It's a Small World Ride, or Space Mountain. So it's kind of cute. It's a little e-ticket. So that kind of sums up the 50 pins that I ordered in the bag here. And, you know, they're, they're okay. Um, it wasn't a bad lot. The, the packaging was definitely kind of yucky. And I will say that this particular lot, you know, we're certainly not near as exciting as some of the other ones that we have purchased. And I, I pulled out um, some from the, the last couple lots that we have gotten, and I put them in these little um, paper paper containers here just because I was going to kind of scan over them. And if anybody's interested, I, I can review some of these as well. And these some of these are really interesting. They're, they're fun. So, all right, that's going to wrap up for now. And um, I'm going to follow this up with a couple of pin trading clips from the park that I took while I was there last month. Okay, take care.